Good evening. It's been a while since we've been we've seen any significant rain. Now mix in all the hot sunny weather we've been getting and you end up with some very dry conditions. As a result, a pair of areas in our region now have fire bans in effect. Due to increased fire activity over the last week, which included three ground fires, the County of Vermilion River has imposed a partial fire ban. All previously issued permits are now cancelled. Only recreational or incinerator fires are allowed until further notice. Fire ban updates are available at vermilionriver.com. Meanwhile, the rural municipality of Frenchman Butte has a full fire ban in effect, meaning no burning of any kind, and any permits that had been issued are no longer valid. Burning during a fire ban may result in a minimum penalty of $500. Groups and organizations in North Battleford are receiving a boost thanks to gaming grants. The money comes from $1.5 million in charitable grants from the Saskatchewan Liquor and Gaming Authority. Charities in North Battleford area will benefit from more than $113,000. The total grant money reflects 25% of the net revenue raised through gaming activities including bingos, raffles, poker and Monte Carlo events. Well, his legacy continues to live on in many communities across Canada, including right here in the border city. The 33rd annual Terry Fox Run is this weekend, and organizers are hoping to gain more support and participants. For me, it, we've done it every year when I was a kid in elementary and all the way up, and now at Queenie here at our school, we do it every year with the kids, and it's big. But Braithwaite says only $2,000 was raised last year. They're hoping to beat that total. She's encouraging the community and other teachers and students to come out on Sunday to either walk or run along with them. We would like to challenge all the EAs and teachers in Lloydminster to come out and join us. Either they run on Sunday for the Terry Fox run and hopefully we can get as many teachers and EAs out there. All funds raised will go to the Terry Fox Foundation. Registration is at 9 in the morning and the run begins at 10 a.m. at Bud Miller Park. If you would like to sign up or donate, you can visit terryfox.org. A new trade show is making a stop in Lloydminster for the very first time and it's appealing to all the men in the city. The Ultimate Man Show features quads, trucks, boats, along with hunting and fishing equipment. Lloyd is um, such a guy-driven city. We just thought, you know, we'd try and cater to the men. And instead of the women, a lot of the trade shows in the Lloyd area are catered to women. So we thought we'd try one for the men. This morning, organizers were busy setting up the show in the Alberta building on the exhibition grounds. You can expect more than 115 exhibitors, including Alberta Flyboard. They'll be demonstrating the so-called water jet pack in, an out, in a temporary outdoor pool. Everybody that sees them is just absolutely blown away with, uh, with how cool they are. Um, and they are actually available for sale, so uh, people are buying them for their personal lake lots. And just because it's called the Man Show doesn't mean women aren't welcome. We're advertising to women as well. Um, women actually get in half price. Um, and there are some booths that are catering to the women as well. And tickets for men are $10 and the show opens tomorrow at 10 a.m. Oh, with the beautiful weather we've been having as of late, it's a great weekend to get out and explore the city. Lloyd FM's Heather Cleggis has some ideas in this week's What's Happening. Plenty of opportunity for you to take in some live music this weekend at the Vic Juva Community Theater. Carol and Don Johnson in town tonight, tomorrow night. You've got a chance to check out the Ray Charles Tribute Orchestra, a 12-piece ensemble and on vocals Grammy Award winner Donald Ray Johnson. You can still get tickets for this show coming up tomorrow night. Just stop by the Vic Juva Theater box office and get set to enjoy some great music. School is back in and Loy Comp High School is getting set to host a gala for education coming up at this Thursday night. It's an opportunity to hear Erin Gruel speak. She is the teacher that the movie Freedom Writers is based on. So a great opportunity to hear from her. Also as part of the show, Loy Comp High School Improv Group will be performing. So get set for a special night on Thursday. This weekend we have a chance for you to win a brand new CD just came out on Tuesday. It's Keith Urban's new album Fuse. It 
includes his number one hit, a little bit of everything. Also on it, a duet with Miranda Lambert, and he's done a duet with Eric Church as well. So some of the biggest names on country music on Keith Urban's brand new album. And all you have to do to get your hands on a copy is email your name and daytime phone number to tvcontest at newcap.ca. We want to say thanks to John at Universal Music Canada for making sure we get the new Keith Urban. And here is hoping the sunshine holds this weekend, especially on Sunday, as the Terry Fox Run will be held right here in Bud Miller Park. Well, whatever you choose to do this weekend, I hope you have a great one. I'm Heather Cleggis, and that's what's happening.